Welcome to the video and today we're going to be talking about NFTs. Yep, it's, it's one of those. And if you don't know what an NFT is, then I, I can't really help you at this point. But if you'd like to learn about what an NFT is, I will put a link in the description to a video where you can find out exactly what an NFT is. If you'd like me to explain what an NFT is, I can create a video on this. Just let me know in the comments. But I assume at this point you've got this far, you know what one is. Welcome. And if for any reason you've got this far and you still don't know what one is, alright, you can stay as well. I'm not getting rid of you. I need all the views I can get at this point. And if you obviously know what an NFT is, you will know that there are many, many different influence or just projects that raise millions and millions of dollars with their NFT projects. And you know, I thought, why not? Why can't I do this too? And if you see the likes of Christ, Jake Paul of all people, raising millions and millions for his NFT project, I thought if Jake Paul can do it, why can't I? And that's not a sentence I ever want to be repeated. Comparisons to the Paul brothers aside, I'm considerably less rich and most things, to be perfectly honest, but I think that's equally a good thing for maybe not. There are and have been a ton of NFT projects raising significant money. So I thought I'm going to prove that anyone can create an NFT project. So I did. These non-fungible token projects tend to either be a mix of a couple of different things. You have the artist, the digital artist, or even the physical artists are creating digital art and then selling them as NFTs. So you have the full on just art side of things and then you have the other side, which tend to be either linked to a project. So more the collectible side of things. So you can have a project that is going to create an entire game, allegedly and these collectibles will be characters in the game, allegedly. I say that because most of these projects have not actually released anything. So why are they raising millions and millions of dollars? Well, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good point, really. It's hype, it's a lot of hype. It's just a lot of hype, really. So in my project, what did I decide to do? Which side was I on? Was I gonna create the next metaverse or was I going to just create a bit of digital art, a picture, a JPEG basically. I I chose the JPEG because I'm not talented enough to 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 do the other side of things. But yeah that's that's the main reason. So you've got crypto punks, you've got oh Jesus Christ, you've got all manner of different animals. So I thought I really like llamas. I'm gonna create a crypto project around llamas. I've previously done a goat one, don't ask about that. But I thought, llamas seem like you can do something with that. So I created the llama saga. Now you'll see, I'll put up on the screen now in OpenSea, they have been created for some time. I didn't just do this recently, I, I did it quite a few months ago and it was to prove a point to my son. It's what I do, random things to say that anyone can create these things but there's a lesson and I'll get onto that later. So I picked an animal, I picked a theme and I thought, you know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run with this. Llama rhymes with a number of different things. How can I make it sound funny? So here's what I did. I just rhymed things with llama. I mean, drama llama's pretty obvious. Uh, Obama llama, that's a good one. Um, Osama llama, yeah, I did that one. That one didn't go down too well. Nirvana Llama, one of my favourites, I have to say. Marijuana Llama, great fun. Futurama Llama, really. And all of these have a style. So they're in the, either the same style, apart from Futurama Llama, which is in the style of Futurama. So did I draw... No, I, I didn't draw these. I don't have that ability either. I just paid someone on Fiverr to do it for me. So what did I do? Yep, I paid someone on Fiverr, went on Fiverr, which you can do. You can literally do this. Put up on the screen now, you can see. You can go onto Fiverr and get someone to create NFT projects for you. Or just to create the NFT artwork. And so there we go. You can go onto Fiverr, get your NFTs created, and then what? What can you do? Well, you just list them on OpenSea, really. You just create an OpenSea account and all of your, you can mint them. So minting them obviously creates them on OpenSea so they then exist. They are on the blockchain then, they are taken from a JPEG to the blockchain. So we officially have a token assigned to every single one of these JPEGs. 
with any of these side hustles I've tried or all of these different things that I've done if you haven't seen these amazing videos you maybe check them out on the channel somewhere but there seems to be a massively running theme throughout all of these different things and the main theme within that is you need an audience. You need to build the hype in order to get people to be able to buy them in the first place. If you don't create the demand, then you've just got some JPEGs that you've put on the blockchain. So of course, I minted all of my JPEGs. They're on there, the Llama Saga exists, it's there, it's great. And then nothing really happened because I don't really have any demand for people to find them or want to buy them. There's no real need. I didn't shill them. I didn't get any influencers to promote them. I didn't actually do anything. I just created them and proved my point that just because you create them doesn't mean people will buy them. But if you want to create your own NFT project, it's actually really quite simple. The actual doing of it is really, really easy. Completely easy, in fact. I mean, anyone can do it. I did it, so that kind of says a lot, really, doesn't it? Like I said, you can click my link in the description for Fiverr. That'll take you straight to NFT stuff. They'll create NFTs for you for a very, very good price. You can actually have them all AI created, so you could have 10,000 of them. You can have your entire NFT collection based around whatever animal you like. We got penguins, we got dogs, we got anything to be honest nowadays so you can choose to do that you can mint them on OpenSea for free it doesn't cost you anything to mint them but it does cost you to list them so if you want to list them like at an auction which means you auction them off and then people will potentially bid on them then that does cost money so you have to mint them it depends on the gas fee at the time like the Ethereum gas fee I have no idea what the value of that is at the moment or the price that it is so it, but it costs you some money it might cost you between 20 and 70 euros or dollars whatever to list them for sale at an auction on OpenSea which is obviously a fair bit of money but if you're going to do this I'd really recommend that you also have some sort of marketing plan or strategy around it too like I said if you don't create the demand no one's gonna know they exist and with more and more NFTs being created every single second, no one's ever going to know it exists. The only reason you guys might know that this exists is because I'm going to put a link in the description. Do I expect any of you to buy them? No. Would I advise it? No, not really. If you want one. Otherwise, they hold no value whatsoever. But unlike Jake Paul, and this is the last comparison with me and Jake Paul, I am not going to show you something that provides no actual intrinsic value to you whatsoever, which is exactly what the Llama Saga does. It just has no value. They're just very cool pictures of llamas, which if you're willing to spend money on and you think that's valuable, you've got bigger issues than I do. If you then have created your project and you want to shill it to the world, then I suggest you create a community around it. And this is no mean feat. I have created communities before around these sorts of things. Back in the day of a crypto bull market and not the likes of today. And it is very, very difficult. We have community managers. You have to pay to actually promote these things through multiple different streams. So if you have a strategy around that, great, you can equally hire people to do this for you but it takes money and ultimately most people these days are looking for projects that are going to provide some value so they're looking for projects on the more collectible side of things things that are going to be used in a game and there are quite a few of them out there promising some great metaverse style games where these collectibles can be used as characters which sounds interesting but we'll have to see when they actually release how much value they have and how good they actually are because Kind of skeptical I'm not gonna lie and if you're going to try and create the next crypto punk good luck to you because I don't think anything is gonna come close to that level of hype so there you have it I created an NFT project and made precisely zero money this seems to be a running theme with most of my side hustles that I don't actually make any money off them am I just maybe I should just not do this anymore if you like this style of video or any of these sorts of videos, don't forget to check out the other videos on my channel and drop me a comment and don't forget to drop me a like because obviously this video deserves it and so does my ego. Otherwise, stay tuned and I will see you on the next one. Peace.